such a good man. It was fate, I believe, that brought you into his presence that evening, just a, a week ago, Nova and Patristia. Yes. It does what the gods are guiding us. Maestro is wonderful. Friends, shall we make haste to the Under Channel? Let's do this. Let's do before this wears off. Emboldened by our friend's magical beams. Yeah. So, so who, you guys all, are, would, is it just me and Nova that are not invisible at this yeah, point? Correct. Yes. Okay. And I, I need I, each of you to roll with advantage a stealth check. Wait, the invisible ones too? No. no. Just, okay. A the 20 ones. and a Hey, 19. your dice hit mine. <laughs> nice. Where are you guys? Which entrance are you navigating to? Ooh, that's a good point. Should we sneak I think out? we need to go to the fountain. Hokins. Oh, we can't Hokins. go back in that. I think room. Hokins, because the fountain, we have to move the fountain. Yeah, it's closest is the Hokins, and it's, and it's less It's less obvious if we're moving. That was, yeah. yeah. It, it, also, Madam Nova, if I it. may, go into the fountain means we have to go into the poisonous sludge again. So we'd rather go to the sacrifice room? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do they want to put on our big cloaks, by the way? Don't sound yeah. great. None of it sounds great. <laughs> Let's just I'm good. Let's on. go to Hokins. I, I tell uh, I tell Hokins. Nova, it's it's as it's the lesser of two evils, Nova. As much as I'd hate to go back to that place, um, for the for the integrity of the party, for our safety, we we need to get there quickly and be as discreet as possible. I I feel that that's definitely the way that we should go and. I, for one, would love to go the other way, but it would not be in the best interest of everybody. All right. So you guys to go. travel through town. It's a nice little five-minute trek from where you are. Maylor, you're kind of leading the way, messaging left, right, forward along the way. Um, Nova and Ithamar, you kind of pass the party. No problem. And you make your way, navigate all the way to Hooken's Arms. To get to the back door, how are you entering? So we pull up to the back door, and I'm, I am just, I'm putting my ear up to the back door. I'm just observing what I can hear, what I can see, what I can sense on the other side. Like if there's any sort of movement going on, like just what mm -hmm. I can pick up from this side of the door, checking the door to see if it's secure, just everything that I would normally do just to make sure that nobody knows that we're there. Before we know that what they're doing. You don't hear anything. Uh, completely quiet. The door is locked. The Does back there door. Are there to be lights on on the property? Inside? Uh, <laughs> as you... Marcus, roll a perception check. Eight. Okay. Uh, no activity from what you can see. And if you were going to guess, based on lockdown, probably closed. Not sure. No real way to know until you get inside. Closed. So, uh, as... As we're standing there, I'm as discreetly and quickly as possible picking the lock. Okay. Uh, as you pull locked. out your thieves' tool. <laughs> no, it, I, no, no, no. He right. was. No. <laughs> as you pull out your thieves' tools, you put it in, twist, pop. It's embarrassing how like simple this lock is. Um, you'd figure a business would be a little bit more secure than that, especially one that sells really crappy magic items. Uh, but you've done this a million times and a door just pops open for you. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> just that that OS... like that. <laughs> the fact that it was it's locked it's... means that they knew somebody had opened it. Like they had checked it between us coming there last time. As so as quickly as the door opens, I, I knowing the outlay of Hogan's arms, I immediately go from the front, from the back to the front, just in the main area to see if anybody's there. In other words, just doing like a quick check. Yeah, so as you pop in, completely empty. Very well. I put Come on, on friends. Yeah. It's safe. Come in. Maylor, what are you, what are you doing? I put it on one of the cloaks. Okay. And as he, I see him do that, I'll do the same. Well, we're, still, we're still invisible? Yep. I'll put on a yep. cloak, too. Okay. So uh, everybody's kind of following suit, then. Does anybody Marcus want to say that out cloak. loud? I thought you did on the way. When well, you were I talking did, about, cloak. I, 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 I thought it was in character. <laughs> no, it was. It was. The Fruer was like, "Hey, we got these cloaks." And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll put it on the way." <laughs> okay. If 
Do you see where slips on his cloak? Or a couple of them? Oh, yeah, he said slips on his cloak. He maybe like slipped on his cloak and slipped and like fell over. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, right. That might make sense. Uh, you are, l- allow me to help you up, friend. <laughs> like a banana. That's funny. Well, you wouldn't see that he fell, even if yeah, he did fall. Invisible. We would hear him. <laughs> you just hear this. <laughs> I'm still human, too, for him, I think. <laughs> we just hear, <laughs> no! <laughs> a couple of uh, verbal curse words. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so, confirming that the shop is actually closed. There's no activity here. Um, you shut the door behind you. Do you lock it, or do you just kind of put it back no, the way it we was? Lo- I'm locking it exactly how okay. it was. I want it locked. Um, kind of keeping everything quiet, similar. You yeah. duck down the yes. steps, make your way back into the storage Can you room. bring up that graphic of Hoken's arms? We're kind of... I'm just looking at the city at this point. There. There's Hoken's. Okay. Oh, look, my friend's spell is still there. Okay. <laughs> no, two, four, six. Be- before, gotcha. before we go any further, I-, I go check out their weapon selection just to see if there's anything <laughs> there. Of- okay, roll an investigation check. Of course the rogue does. Uh, he rolls... Uh, 11. 11, okay. Uh, as you're looking through what's there, it's all garbage. It it might be effective once or twice in a fight, but it, it's very similar to, like, uh, like those mall ninja-type weapons, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. as soon as you swing it once, that sword just bends its way around a tree, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, they look nice, but they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what you're looking at. That's funny. I just walk away a little bit disgruntled. And... <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys heading down yet, or anything else you want to look through? I start asking Ithamar more questions about how the cultists walk, trying to get in character. <laughs> Since he's had um, the most experience with them, without realizing it might traumatize him to have to relive that. Maylor, mm-hmm. that is an amazing question. Um, but all I remember is um, being carried, the smell, and um, me passing out. And being blind. I say all that to say this, friend. I don't know how they walk. (laughs) Right, right, right. That's a very long-winded answer. (laughs) I think I touched a cord. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. So, So as we're headed down, the next room is the cellar, and then it'll be into the sacrifice room, um, which is where we encountered the snake. Yeah. I think we need to be on the same page. If we engage the snake again, which is not our objective, I don't think, um, do we fight or do we run? I think he's beyond any of us at this point. He's going to get my hammer if I see him again. We fight. I give him an affirmative nod and I head down the stairs. I'm going to run. <laughs> Just to make this clear. Wait. If Wait, I die, I die in glory. Yes, you do. Our primary objective is to get a captive so let's try and do that he'd be a great captive he would be I definitely so friends I, I, let me offer you this i giving the objective is just to get in and out as fast as we can with a captive um well, let's let's not and I, i'm kind of looking at marcus i'm like let's let's be as discreet as possible yeah we well, the objective need- is greater than just that I mean, the writ we have from the Adventure Guild was to finish our writ. It wasn't just get in the capture somebody. That was that was Donahue who gave us that. The Adventure Guild sent us down here to complete what we started. I true. understand that, Marcus, and, and, like and this is that. very true. Well, and we don't have to do it this night. night. We we won't leave that undone. I promise you, friend. But um, they also did not know about the snake, and and there's a lot of things transpired since since that time. So I look at I look at Marcus and say, we only need one captive. Well, his a few might die on the way getting that one. Exactly. Oh, fudge. I can't see anything. <laughs> it's so dark. I can help with that. And I'm going to press. Are you going to do it? I'm going to cast dark vision. Well, we're invisible right now. There's light in here. I mean, she's All right. You got to do your, your eyes of the night. Eyes of the night. Oh, last see. an hour. How long is it last? Okay. If I an hour. It, on them, let's see who else I need to do. Maylor and 
just wait. I can't. I can't click more than one person. Oh, there we go. Right. I can see. Uh, Got to go ah. manually. Add that real quick. Hmm. Yeah, three hundred feet of dark vision. Right? Dark vision is crazy. So it's good. It's really good. Find solace and right. peace of the watcher in the shadows. Hmm. Is um. God's just out of with us. Is is Thieves' Cant something that Maylor would understand? I, I'm assuming it is. We've talked in Thieves' Cant before. Yeah, I, I, I'm very good. I thought we we did. It's just something we haven't. Maylor knows. So. He knows a broken version of it. I'm not super good pieces. at it, but I can do a right. little bit. So as we're we're making our way, I'm I am communicating with him, like to, like encourage him to temper Marcus's expectation because I feel like y'all have created this bond. Just to make sure, because like again, I'm coming from a place of like I want to get in and out of here as quick as possible, and um, oh, and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> That's awesome so, because he he wasn't there when this last episode when Maylor was getting all hero juiced right. up, and so he doesn't know. I know all juiced up on the hero. actually <laughs> the one I'm leading the hero charge. Now. He's the one <laughs> just he's just as hyped as Marcus to hit, go hit someone with the hammer. <laughs> well, then it's then it's, <laughs> but if the would not know that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Continue. <laughs> I so no, and I'm over Ithamar, and I say, we're stronger than you think. And I forge ahead. <laughs> I stand there kind of dumbfounded. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, good Lord, what happened to this man? <laughs> and then I look at Marcus, and I shake my head, and just follow <laughs> on. Ithamar. He just winks. <laughs> you mind checking this door? Oh, Marcus uh, is invisible. Never mind. Yeah. The wink came through. Like, we felt it, though. Okay. Emotionally, so I'm back out in front. I'm checking the door. Uh, this is the door that's very complicated, if I remember correctly. Yep. Takes and, to um, you to open it. Yeah, but I'm also again um, before I'm opening yep. any door right now. I'm hyper aware of what's going on, listening for anything, just trying to sense what I can sense. It was complicated, but wasn't it locked on this side? Shouldn't we just be able to unlock it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I thought that was the case. Yeah, you can. Open and, it. Um, and it, out no, of an abundance of caution no before perception I, check. Okay. Eight. 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 Uh, you don't hear much on the other I'm side. Much? <laughs> I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> Not <laughs> much. You do if there's something. Sound there. of, you hear the sound of rats. Yeah. That's about it. I turned to, I turned to uh, Marcus. Marcus, do you feel anything? Is that kind of how that works? Marcus is over here rummaging through stuff, kind of wondering what, what else they have going on here. I relayed the message. Oh, 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 um, uh, yeah, great, uh, great evil. We should go kill it. Oh, right here, right now, on the other side of this door, Marcus. Oh, right. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Let me check. Oh, divine sense. Okay. Uh, you don't detect anything, Marcus. Ghost is clear. No direct evil near us. So just so y'all know, I don't want to. I, I really don't want to slow down the gameplay. But where Itamar's mind and heart is right now, he is going to be overly cautious about everything. So just know that going, because the closer yeah. we get to this room, the more he's feeling the the despair yeah. creep upon him, and he's well, like PTSD. holding his neck. Yeah, he's he's feeling his. It's just all it's all coming back to him, and so it's it's a little bit overwhelming for him right now. So I'm gonna um, hold your hand, Itamar. Oh, uh, thank you, Katristia. As I said I would. And um, I'll, I'll need the two of them for just a moment, but after that. And so I'll open the I door. I won't hold your hand, but I'll hit some more of the hammer for you. <laughs> <laughs> a whisper. <laughs> the coldest like, old hands. No. No. So I'll, I'll open the door, and we go through. As the door opens, it slightly creaks open. You cautiously yeah. peek through not completely trusting what Marcus had said, that there's no evil in here. Uh, as it opens, you look in, fear hits you again. That anxiety starts to overwhelm mm. you, but you push through it, knowing at least you have your friends with you now when you didn't before. The door opens. The room is empty. We move on. We roll a seven for a performance check. What are you performing, my lord? <laughs> I'm being a cultist. That's a 12. I rolled a 12 for my performance check to see how good I am at being a cultist. You start chanting some form of mumbo-jumbo that you think sounds <laughs> ritualistic. 
No, no clue. I'm going straight to the hole to try to go down. Okay. So you get to the the door, Nova. Uh, it's locked as it was before. Um, and this is a heavy door. It weighs a little over 100 pounds in order to move out of the way. But it's locked so on this side, right? That's like not the, like the same. It, it's same. Because, yeah, it's dual. Uh, I mean, I work my magic on it if it's locked. Is it? Ith- all right, Ithmar, are you are you? Uh, I'm right beside you. any of this um, trepidation that you're having, or is it? Because I mean, I can't see you. You to, can to tell. You can see Ithamar. Ithamar is not invisible. He's not invisible. You oh, are. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's like four of us invisible. So as you can tell, like again, a, a extreme abundance of caution. Uh, being in this room again just is completely, you know, really is testing all my metal to be here, but. I, I understand yeah. where I'm at and who I'm with, so I I go to unlock the the door, the the floor, the trap floor right here. So I want you and to roll I, I'm your thieves' to tools Mark, with disadvantage. Just acknowledging, uh, you know, his situation. I'm invisible, so I'll call his name Ithamar beforehand and just put my my hand on his shoulder. Ithamar, you you can open the doors. You don't have to lead the way. We understand completely your concern so please thank you for being here we're, we're here with you if he were to look close he'd see my hand a little bit shaky there but um you know i kind of do this number right here and i i thank you fewer now would you ask me to roll joe you give him guidance uh, use your thieves tools yeah with disadvantage so use my thieves tools use thief tools here we go Guidance will drop your visibility, so you know. Oh, will it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any spell. Six. Okay. Number okay. one. But uh, as you sit back and you try to kind of bring yourself together, the emotion overwhelms you, uh, and you're just struggling. You kind of get in there and you break the the metal cues that you're using in order to separate it, and it becomes obvious to you that someone else is going to have to kind of take over. Mm-hmm. Is Friends, I'm, I'm so sorry. I I, I, I just can't. Uh, I don't. I don't know. And I'm just kind of stumbling over, just very beside myself. I'm I'm embarrassed because I can't do here to do. I'm scared because of just you know the uh, just it's all flooding back to me. And I just kind of step back and uh, throw up my hands and like I'm sorry. I, I just can't. What do you guys want to do? Well, I tried to hold his hand, so I don't know what else. Is the lock metal? Or yes. metal? Right, I'll yep. cast heat metal. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, the lock has an AC of 12. Uh, well, it just heats the metal. Yeah, I don't have oh, to hit. <laughs> okay. So, and you do 1d8 damage? 2d8. 2d8 fire. Four okay. damage. Every six seconds. And then, yeah, for as long as I concentrate, it keeps doing damage. It lasts gotcha. for a minute. Yeah. A minute? I can, yeah, I can use a bonus action on each of my subsequent turns to cause the damage. Do it ten so times. Yeah. Every okay. six seconds, I'm basically doing four damage to the lock. Okay. Um, but then I pull out my hammer when it's weak, and I uh, smite nice. the lock. Uh, I like it. <laughs> okay. I smite it's going to be effective. Your attack is going to be effective. I still want you to roll an attack roll. Uh, it's AC after about 45 seconds is 5. Boom. 10. Perfect. And as you do that, the metal just kind of collapses into itself and shatters. And I need you to roll uh, an agility saving throw or acrobatic saving throw. I say just acrobatic skill check. Since there's no. Yeah. Yeah, but it's normal. But doom. Oh, great job. So this metal 19. that you just. Carelessly swing at, sparks up and flies at you as if you were like a welder. And you just casually watch it slide past you. Like you anticipated that was the direction it was going to be coming from. Pops open, kind of wave toward Marcus, a few air, do your thing. It's Don't I heavy. Go? Oh, or behind that, uh, no that, I go to Ithamar, we're strong together. What's great is that as you do that, you come out of invisibility. Boom! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's nice. Maybe a really cool picture. The <laughs> door opens. Uh, Marcus Fuer, whoever lifted it, 
who's descending first. Nova said she was. Nova. Madam okay. Nova, would you go first, please? <laughs> I don't know if that's still thanks, the plan. Thanks for throwing me down there. No, you said <laughs> you jump in the hole. I'm just giving you your chance if that's what you want to do. Otherwise, I'm going in. Hero's landing. Yeah, yeah Marcus exactly. is not waiting unless... I mean, he doesn't want to hold that. What's the order? I just want out of this room. I'll go first. <laughs> I'll get caught kind of up in the moment and I'll pull in the rear. Okay. So I'm kind of in the middle, kind of all purpose. Marcus. Do what now? I just said, don't forget you have guidance. You'll have, uh, okay. On your, so you uh, got Nova, followed by Marcus. Ithamar's in the middle. Who is pulling up the rear? I am. Okay. Okay. Maylor, you're in the Maylor. back. All right, you guys end up back in the under channel. Very familiar place. You've already been here. All right, team. What are we doing? Shivering in our boots, man. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm taking room. Me? I'm Mark not sweating at all. Kidding. I already know what's all here. So. <laughs> it's not easy so for me. shivery. Can I open this door? Don't forget. I, um, we, we have uh, around the corner the large creature, no doubt, I would assume is still there. The Hilzebub. Uh, Hajibub. Whatever it was. <laughs> Beelzebub? Oh my lord. Bander, Banderhob. There was definitely a Banderhob. The Bandersnatch. <laughs> okay. Hopefully these cloaks That's... let us move freely. As yes. I think. No, but is everybody cloaked? Or are we still in. Who's still invisible? Uh, Katristia and Marcus. Okay. And Nova isn't, right? Because she, she never was invisible. She never was, so yeah, no. we're. Got it. The, Got it. the rest of us that okay. are. Yeah, the rest of us that are visible all have cloaks on. And I've gotcha. got my arms like this, you know, where the, the opening <laughs> is kind of like grouped down. Nice. You know? Like that. What was that? Nice. Right with that wood. Okay. Yeah. Uh, move, move where you want to move. Nova well, Nova's kind of leading the way at this point. Go through the door here. Perfect. Next door opens. Not a problem. Where are you guys? I like have my bow drawn. I'm seeing as far as I can see. So if I need to shoot something, I certainly will. Nova, as you turn around the corner, you step down the steps. Few air. You're following as well. Looking back to the direction of where that creature was, it's It's gone. gone. It's gone. It's not there. Great. Nothing. Just what we need. Nothing. The big guy uh, loose. I could see the change that would bind was binding me before, but it is not there. The, the bills above. Vanderhoff. <laughs> the Vanderhoff. I think you have the name wrong. <laughs> Let me see if I can see the shadow creatures. The shadow creatures are gone as well. Correct. There's uh, a door over here. Catristia, I want you to roll a perception check. Looks like I a know, good end. Uh, Joe, I don't think the 300 feet sight's working. Boom! 21. Catristia, as you roll a 21, you hear grunting behind you very similar to sorry I had your wrong tokens in here that's why I didn't bring over the other tokens here you go um, you hear that grunting <laughs> kind of walking to your east guys I hear them behind us there's a door over here but let's press to the door and get away from them they're not close Maylor Jack, you keep moving your token as I'm uh, trying to update his vision. <laughs> Correct. Sorry, he's kind of moving back and forth as he hears voices from two different <laughs> directions, trying to still continue to be as much cult like as possible. Okay. Come on, come on. <laughs> so you approach Nova, and there's a door there. Does I'm not. I'm going to listen locked. just to see if I can hear anything. Okay, roll a perception check. I will try to help while I'll be listening as well. I'm going to be looking behind us and seeing if we're being followed by what Katristia heard. Okay, nine That's kind of what I heard as well. Uh, as you get further away, the voices disappear. Okay. Uh, oh, 20 here. It seems that's pretty 20. silent oh. ahead of you. Sorry, I hit persuasion that time. You want me to roll oh, that again? Persuasion. Yeah, that just see, means... That's the perceptions. Yeah. yeah, so... <laughs> you use the average those two, right? You take the average... <laughs> That 23 is a 25, if because that was meant to be a percentage. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a way to do it. Uh, it's still, regardless, yeah, yeah, yeah. you did really well. Nothing. 
Sounds quiet. All right, I'll open the You're door. You're confident. Oh, door open. Oh, open it back up. Oh. So at the end of the wall, there's a thing. table. Oh, you can see it. Oh, I'm right. gonna kind of hold everyone up right here inside the doorway and just say, "I see a light." And I'm gonna do charge not go forward. To the light. Do not do it. Yeah, Marcus, step the moon quickly. Oh, As you step me. in, hammer raised. There's a table. Guys. Um, table appears to have been used for meals. Um, it is not any type of grub that appeals to you. Um, old, moldy, uh, insect-like in some ways. Um, not appetizing. And the room looks abandoned. What's the condition of things? It looks like tussled, like people left quickly, or was the room just kind of... Roll like- an insight check. It Ten. looks like, from your perception... It just looks empty. It doesn't look like there was anything in disarray, That's fine. S- speed, urgency, but just mm-hmm. like someone was here and now they're not. Another door at the end. There's another door. I check it. You check Pierre's, the door. You, what's your goal? Pierre's just getting, you know, he, he's getting a little amped up. He's getting a little. Marcus uh, opens the door. A little valorous. <laughs> Marcus, as you step toward the door, you. Roll a uh, roll a perception check real quick as you open the door. Well, you don't even need to. You got 300 feet. You see I can those see everything. blue I men. Can see me. Correct. The blue people. men crossing one of the bridges to your right. Oh, there's those guys over there to the right. We need to be careful to the right or the east. To be. I'm invisible. Can you guys want to do? They will not do for our captive. They don't speak the common tongue. I don't think that I know what. They speak, but I, I don't suppose they'd be very good to uh, in, in, uh, interrogate. I would agree. Well, I'll we also have to bear in mind that. Go ahead. I was going to pull out my bow and target the middle one and use my hail of thorns so it kind of sprays all of them. Okay, big shot. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not a lot. Yeah. Well, it worked. At least. <laughs> right. Uh huh. All right, so they're dead. Uh, cool. Good yeah. job. And Nova okay. turns around the corner. Boom. Hail of thorns. All of them, bam, explode. Just body parts all over the place. Perfect. So who's still invisible and who is not? Patristia and Marcus are still invisible. I look yeah, at Nova they're... and I say, what god did that come from? <laughs> um, no god, just... Hey. Look over to Fuer. Hey, Fuer. Yeah, Marcus. Maybe we should search that that room that that beast was in for clues, or let's go, or or maybe a left behind person. I just immediately go in when he says that. Okay. Oh, friends, uh, I believe I have found what we're looking for, and I'll back in the door. <clears throat> we we found Marcus has stumbled upon the turbines. <laughs> well done, Sir Marcus Istival. I mean, the crawler of the House of Istival. Hey, thank you. Approach with caution. This Boy. is the room where the Habernob was. <laughs> <laughs> the Balrog, the Banner the ba- Snatch. The ba- Hold the on. Balrog. This is Hold on. The I'm going to put it out here. <laughs> there. It's in the chat now, okay? Banderhop. Banderhop. Let's just turn the let's turn the turbines on. Avi band. All right, we have a uh, uh, Which, Madame Nova. Ironically Nova. enough, was uh, my street name Coming when I was growing the up. They here. call me the Banderhob. Hey, do your fancy uh, bow shot with that one over there. He can't see it. Uh, shoot it. Hold on. Kill it. Hey. So there's there's one to the north. Clear, yeah, hold on. Is this water that we're looking at actually? Yep. It's very is similar that... water that you guys fell into. Do it. Um, okay. Shoot this prisoner over here? No, no. No, 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 no. I didn't see the I don't see anyone else. No. So is no. You, are, are, what are you trying to do? Let's start there. Oh, she's Oh, shoot this arm. guy? I'll let the DM say what's happening. What are you trying to do? Mm-hmm. Let's start there. Well, okay. I was trying what? to uh, get Nova to kill this guy before we engaged him, um, but we've stepped Marcus pretty close now, so I'll let on. you determine whether or not we've been seen or not. 
<clears throat> so as you turn around the corner, you guys see this figure, very disheveled, sunken in features, chained, groaning, obvious signs of malnourishment, mm. hair completely fallen out, uh, beard straggly, you know, uh, patchy, kind of laying there, barely detect signs of breathing. Well, I mean, we haven't approached him. Yeah. Marcus, as you come around the corner, you do see the armature of what appears to be the mechanical mechanism that would set forth once again and turn on the turbine to the under channel. This definitely needs to be turned on. Marcus, Marcus, one, one second. Before you turn that on, let's let's think this through a little bit. Nova, come here, please. And I whisper to her as I see her kind of you slowly I'm start to shoot those my guys. <laughs> okay, so she walked Marcus. literally ten feet from that guy. You, it, it, is that okay? I was on the stairs. Well, well if you walked down that. there, they would have seen you and started to attack. But I yeah. was not paying attention to what Noah was doing. So, yeah. Nova, as you step down there, I was about here. Those up creatures, here. This, the one up front, sees you immediately. Uh, he's Perfect. like. Oh. Oh, Mungo's asking. Well, she should have seen him before that, though. Yeah, we saw him before. Like, why, why would we even walk down the stairs? To we saw him already. They like, we should... Where they would have been him. coming. They, well, you can... If you're going to do that, you're going to do that real quick with a surprise round. Uh, because they can see you from where you guys approach there. Uh, okay. The, the, this one can. That one can. Right. The other one can. I'm going to right here to shoot him. That's what I was... That's where I was. Okay. All right, then uh, roll an initiative. A surprise round. And I'll give you guys a She's surprise five round. Feet, ten, ten feet from him. Okay. Da, 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 da. My screen's frozen up a little bit. Catristia and Melor are just hanging back. All the die. Uh, this one here skips. First one in uh, combat skips his turn because he didn't see you guys because he was around the corner. Melor. Uh, no, it seen? is. A few hours turn. It is. What was that, Mailer? I don't get to surprise shoot him. We'll get there in a moment. Fine. I already skipped one of them that didn't get to see, didn't see you. Okay. Mm. Okay. Catristia's first now. <laughs> At 20. All right, Catristia, mm -hmm. uh, you hear a commotion down there. I moved. Okay. And as you get into that position, you can see this creature right here. Uh, actually, you really can't because you're kind of low. The steps are in the way. Okay. If you air, what are you doing? All right. Uh, so let's see. What do we got? Uh, we're going to cast uh, my favorite spell on him. Sacred Flame. Uh, mm. After I step Good up. spell. Uh, I can't get him. It says there's walls everywhere. There. Boom. Of course, Good. he succeeded because that is the nature of oh, Sacred Flame. Natural. Very succeeding. Hmm. Channel. The divinity kind of comes out and you watch this flame spark as it hits the wall right next to him. Maylor, your turn. First thing I want to do is peer into the ominous pool of water. Okay. Uh, as it swirls, I want you to roll a perception check. Okay. Eight. Um, I want to do ominous. lucky. I'm going to do lucky. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Not so lucky. Hey. Sometimes it's just destined to be. Exactly. Yeah, right. Another lucky. lucky as you, as you look into the swirling pool, it reminds you what you guys initially swam through. The difference is oh. there's a level of current here, and you hear some form of echo, almost. Uh, as the water churns around. It's just a tiny bit haunting. You're not exactly sure if there's, it's like enchanted or anything. It just kind of creeps you out. Gotcha. Alright, next up, I'm gonna walk my... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And that's my turn. Well, I guess I can dash. Yeah, I was going to say that perception would be a bonus action. Just took a moment to look around. Is so this a ledge? Is this a ledge I have to climb up on? Yeah, it would cost you an All extra right. five feet to get up there. All right, then I'm right there. Okay. All right. 
Baylor is done. Mark, it's your turn. Mark is going to be trying to figure out how to turn this thing on. Okay. Uh, uh, so roll an investigation check. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's an old mechanism. It's a churning wheel, very similar to what like a grinding wheel would be. And you notice a couple chains attached to it, mechanisms that dig deeper into the wall. Uh, you realize you're just going to have to brute force it, manually move the thing into position. Based on its current condition, it's 50 years old. Probably not really operational. It hasn't been operational in that period of time. And is going to at least take a strength test. Probably at least 20 to move this thing. You have a very strong friend that could help you after we kill things. Wink, wink. Talk about me, Lord. Patristia, right? This is not super. Is it a strength check, you said? Mm-hmm. With a DC of 20. Not that time. All these fives. Yeah, you, yeah, you sit there, you, roll, you push roll, on it, and you realize you're going to have to give it a lot more effort than that. Uh, it'll take you probably about five minutes or so to kind of regain, because you really put a lot of energy into it. Um, okay. To take another op, you know, another chance at it. All right, who's next? All right, in my turn. Uh, his turn is passed. Nova. All right, I'm gonna shoot this guy with my longbow here. Shoot him. Well, bam. Uh, that is a miss. Uh, shoot just a little bit wide at a ten. Um, sorry. Lane. With, with. Okay, Ithamar. So the one that I have targeted right at the entryway has not taken a turn, correct? Not yet. Okay. So I'm going to take out my, uh, obviously my crossbow, and I'm going to attack. Uh oh, let's see. I'm blocked by a wall, so I'm going to have to move. I had to come all the way down here. Did you? So I come to stand between Nova and uh, Fuair. Oh, 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 oh. oh, come, he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I and I now I see what they're seeing, and so I just uh, I aim for this first guy that I have targeted. You see him salivating as he begins to run towards you. So I do have advantage, right? Because yeah, he has not taken a yeah, he has not taken a turn yet. Good job, twenty. That is a hit at what twenty? Twenty. Yeah, twenty is a hit. Good job. So that was not a natural mm. twenty. Just to clarify, right. Not an asshole. So, a dirty twenty. Roll normal. Dirty. And then, um, of course, then also. So you uh, pull sneak back attack. Four points of piercing damage, uh, and you watch this creature just collapse right in front of you. Okay. Uh, it becomes pretty apparent as you guys are kind of navigating through here that these guys don't look as healthy as what they did last time that you were here. Um, definitely a little bit more gaunt, not as bulbous. And they're very raged and ready to eat. Okay. Next. And then, um, let's see. Okay. Uh, and the guy in the back. All right. We are back to the top of the order. And uh, this guy starts rushing. He targets Fuair, the first guy that he sees. And he swings at Fuair. Boom. <clears throat> he wants to try to. He's swinging. If you are like at the back of your head, okay, okay, trying to knock you down so that you're more prone for his insatiable appetite, and he rolls a 14 and completely misses, and you just see him stomp and pout, like <laughs> you know, just a level of anger builds on him. That's the end of his turn. Katrista, your turn. I'm a moving right there. Uh, you can dash if you want to. You can leave your you friend can dash behind. You can dash if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. There you go. EBD is okay. also our boy band name. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm glad we're not in that. Do you and girl name. All right. <laughs> All right. So this one that just swung at me is gonna get the hammer. Got. Give him the hammer. As I duck his. Oh. Natural 20. Nat 20. Get him. <laughs> Damn. For some 12 damage in his gullet. 
So as you you come up and you swing at him, how do you want to finish this creature? I kind of just see it a little acrobatic, you know, so I, I uh, avoid his first attack and just kind of come back with a feint and finish him off with the with the uh, <laughs> uppercut with the hammer to this jaw. Uh, are you still as human one... looking? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm still human. Kerplunky? Yeah. I tell Fewer, Fewer, you're dropping your left. It's going to hurt you later rounds. <laughs> shield's big. As, as, you, as you uppercut him, the just the brute force of the jaw catches and you see Oof. the neck kind of separate from the head as it pops off and as it flips it almost like an open top like opening a box and the lid just mm. the top of his head just kind of falls right in front of you as mm. his body collapses right into where you're at creature may lord oh I get to or were you move. moving anywhere if you air i'm sorry yeah let me move um so on stand here okay all right May Lord Jack. Mailer's got in his head that he wants to be able to do what Marcus could not. He's going to step up to this. He'll do a bardic inspiration on himself. I can't target myself for some reason. All right. <laughs> um, then I'm going to roll. You can't do a bardic inspiration on you. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you can't. No. Do, do, do. But I'm going to inspire strength. yourself. I'm going to do a strength mm-hmm. check. Look, he's going to do it anyway. Nice. Oh, so close! Oh, <laughs> oh man. If I can Mailor, inspire you, myself. You come up well, and you're same just result. absolutely like encouraged. I can do this. I can do this. And the oh, wheel yes. just budges about a centimeter and it doesn't go any further. <laughs> That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let's see what is that's a bonus action to do the thirty thing. Mm-hmm. All right, so my action. I'll, is... I'll let that go. It, it actually would have been an action to try to. to oh. Turn, turn the wheel. Well, then I will bonus action. Inspire. Catristia. Bardic inspiration. Okay. That's such a fancy little overlay there. Spell effect. That is cool. Like that. All right. You done, Melor? I am. Marcus. Marcus will head back towards the guy. He, I mean, he can't see anyone else. So he, the only other person he knows that's here is that guy in this corner. Okay. And what are you doing? Heading that way towards him. Look at him. I have some questions for you. He barely responds. Breathes. Okay. Creature runs up. Uh, I got to get off my targeting thing. He runs to few air and at few air he reaches in with his club and he goes to swing at you uh this time he is aiming right at your mouth bring it that ugly is <laughs> that is a miss <laughs> and he just right, runs at you as he's trying really hard to like get a hold of you and club you uh but you're just overpowering him nova your turn i will shoot him okay Boom! 20. Never. Five will do it. Yep. Wow. So as you aim at him, your bonuses are going to be enough to kill him. Uh, what are you aiming at? Um, Just like his throat area. Okay. So as you notch an arrow, you let that thing loose, pierces right through him, and blood, like black and uh, bluish blood, starts popping out. Uh, almost smoky in its color. Um and he starts cho- uh, choking on his own blood. As, As I see this smoke flails. stuff come out, I'm going to say, if you are, don't breathe that in. Okay. Can I give a little cheer? Because that's the second time I've seen Nova just, like, destroy somebody. <laughs> the fourth <laughs> time. If you count all three of the ones that she just did. So, color me impressed. Alright, good job. Yes, Amara, your nice. turn. I step down to this landing, target this last one that I can see and okay. let another bolt as i see him raise nope. it may i if i if i may i would just say wait don't kill him i uh upon hearing that um so i kind of taken aback by what you say like i just look at you and like what should we do just injure him like i mean what how would i how would i make that happen if i do damage i'm going to kill him just would you prefer me not to attack fewer subdue him 
I don't know how much you'd let me talk off my turn, so. Oh, yeah. No, I mean hey, you got you got your sentence out. I think it's fair. So I hear him. So I'm going to I'm going to attack him and try to just to wing him to injure him. So. Okay. A non-lethal attack. Yeah. With an arrow. Roll damage. Yeah. He's gonna shoot him an Achilles. Look at that! Yeah, get that Achilles. I'm saying, like, get that leg. Get him in the thigh. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's lethal damage. Uh, so as best as you attempted to not hit him, these creatures were not hardy enough in order to withstand that level of damage. And you watch this creature as you shoot at the leg. You hit the femoral artery. Blood squirts. <laughs> it starts Too squealing good. on the ground. Can't miss. He's completely gone. Shadow's death. Combat is over. <laughs> Heal him! <laughs> Good job, Death Shadow. What are you guys doing now? I step Marcus. up to Nova and I ask, where do you get your power? It's just the bow, man. Really? Everybody yeah. else has, like, gods and stuff. I didn't just, think that I did, was enough. I did pray to Maestro that time. Maybe it's Maestro. <laughs> Maestro. Gotcha. Marcus, what are you doing? Marcus realizing he's still invisible. Um, or not really realizing he's still invisible. Is uh, going to the guy and you need to have some questions to answer. Why are you still here? What's going on? He's not very responsive. Um, you roll, roll, a, uh, roll a medicine check. Uh, 15. Based on his condition, you recognize that maybe in an hour or two, he's going to be dead. So is he like a prisoner, or like chained up, you said? Correct. Is there any identifying marks on him really that makes him look different, or kind of like look over his body, look, look him over to see if there's anything that stands out about him? He's got several tattoos on him. Um, but nothing of, no, of note. Not for Marcus, no. Alright. I don't know what with the battle with this guy. The prisoner left behind. With that little skirmish ending, I I mean I'm I'm kinda of taking inventory oh, right was at and I see there and I just rush in to see, uh, so you I, I, I'm invisible. So you're invisible? Well I did I would have yeah. seen the guy up there. He was in my, my line of sight when I came yeah, out on before. this yeah. top landing. Okay. So uh, Can I pick my arrows up? Uh, roll an investigation check. Wouldn't the action of him trying to turn the turbine on bring him out of an... Actions don't. It's an attack, attack action or spell. Brings you out of misery. Okay. Uh, while you're looking for your arrows, uh, Catristia, what are you doing? Hanging out, waiting for the next thing to kill. Okay. Oh, did you want me to roll the investigation check? Yes. Sorry. Follow uh, me now. Just wanted to see the quality and how many you were able to recover. Cool. Perfect. You 19. found them all. 19. Yeah, you found them all. And uh, their condition was reusable. All right. All right. Uh, if you are, what are you doing? Uh, you, uh, you probably want to play theirs out first. Okay. Uh, Ismar, what are you doing? So I just come into this room to see this guy, and apparently I don't know that Marcus is there still. I mean, you hear yep. him. He's talking. I hear me talking. You didn't yeah. see. You don't see me as long as I. Okay. I, mean, I was there talking, and I, I yelled down in the room saying, "You heard my voice saying there's a guy in here, a prisoner they left behind." Yeah. So I'm just investigating the prisoner, seeing what I can. Figure, um, okay. Observing his, the same thing that Marcus would have done, talking to him, and I ask him his name. It's not really responding. He's. He looks like he's on death's door. And as you very look good. over him, very well tattooed individual. Um, he's so emaciated, it's difficult to, to know who he was specifically. Um, but based on a lot of the markings and things on his body, you know, he was probably some gang member. Mm. So I just kind of yell out, because I know people are close, like for few era, Marcus, can, can we heal him at all? Is there anything y'all can do for him? I'd have answers. I'm not there, technically. Yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of yelling out for you know a little help because I I mean I'm aware that y'all have healing abilities, so that would be my next line of 
my next line of action is just to find. Is anyone um, responding to that? Okay, Hold I will. I'll, I'll come up. Oh, I was down here, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Would I hear him from down okay. there? Sure. Here? Yep. Okay, yeah. Uh, sure. sure. Viewer, can you do anything for this man? Do you know this man? I do not, a, but... I use healing word on him. So. Yeah. I, I do not know six, this man. Six health. I'd also like to uh, take a look at his his uh, overall. You know, is medicinally is there something I can do? We can provide him some food. I have some additional rations here. Uh, you can do a medicine check. Also, hit him for six. Just so I saw that. Yeah, I did. He's in bad shape. At the Mars, he's spoken to you. No, he's he's too uh, he's too weak. Uh, I'm sure he's he'll perish if not, nothing's done. Well, I've healed uh, him, but... y- you pour your healing into him in his particular state at best you might be able to stabilize him uh, you realize he's going to need a little bit more attention and nourishment a lot of things in order to kind of bring him back um, in a way that would be useful his breathing does seem to stabilize a little bit but <clears throat> he's not in a good place Marcus, can you add any additional uh, assistance for this man? Remember, you don't know where Marcus at, is right, at right now. Perhaps he would be... He doesn't... Well, I'm just calling out. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm walking back after you called. I was walking that way. Um, I would relay to Fuer just the what I discovered in my, my medicine check as well. Just kind of putting our two heads together to see if we can together figure out what... That I rolled pretty good, I think. 15, really. When I wanted mine, so like, yeah, I, I like. He appears he was dying. Like he's, I mean, it's more than his wounds. Probably, probably the level of exhaustion that he has. He needs rest. This Not might be injuries, the only just, option we have for a sentient being to come back and ask questions to. Is the concern I have? As it seems like everybody else has left. He's not spoken a word yet. Is the hard part. Well, we we still have a lot of area to search. Oh, sorry, we still have a lot of area to search. Well, my my Marcus, medicine. Marcus, no I would plan. offer you this. This, this might be as far as we need to go if we can get him uh, capable of uh, communicating with us. I mean, we're right here by the I'm turbines. Here. We can. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, but he doesn't seem to be going to make it. I don't know what it's going to take. You've already poured healing into him. He's not responding properly. There's something deeper in him. So, I mean, I don't know the answer to this. Is this anything or is this part of the map? It looks like this is like caved in. It's totally fine. Yeah. It's just rubble, and then there's stone wall behind it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we must move on. There's nothing we could do for him. Okay. Is that correct, Jim? Is nothing we could figure out? When you any... you can you could probably, if you wanted to, and invest into it, you might be able to see him recover. But it probably would take a couple days. Yeah, like he just needs rest, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, proper I, mean rest. I say a couple yeah, days. Yeah, I mean, deal. a couple days. He might start coming back, um, but to be himself based on his condition, you know, this is a week to two week process. We don't really have anywhere safe to keep him, so I don't know that there's anything we can do for him. Well, um, did did you, Ithmar, Did you relay that he was a gang member or something like that? That kind of like the the ones we found before. I, I don't know. No. I mean, I inspected it. Did I recognize? You didn't recognize who he was because of his condition. And based on your history with the town, I don't know that you would have come in contact directly with him. So Although from this conversation, I, I understand that there's no helping this guy. We're not going to take him with us. So um, and it's my understanding that we can't help him and there's no hope if we're going to leave him right here right now. Is that crazy? It's up to you guys. What do you want to do? Yeah. I mean, you could. Our only technically, chance technically is you to could take rehabilitate him, but it would take some time to do so. We would have or at to least take you're, you're from correct. chains. Have, that's correct. Carry him back and find a safe haven for him for a period of time in which we could nurse him, medicate him, in hopes that he might come back. So, if you are, uh, the option is we risk taking him back or leaving him here. If we leave him here, he surely dies a miserable death. If we if we take him, we, we forgo the quest that we're on, the or quests, as it were. Marcus, yes. what do you think? Marcus, do you sense evil? 
with him. What would you do, Marcus? Yeah, Marcus, I mean, what would you do? Why is Marcus... Uh, oh, Marcus, put him out of his misery. Okay. And then walk out of the room. I'll leave, too. Marcus, are you finishing him off? I hit him with my hammer. As Not as hard, like, to crush him, but, like, just to... Either to help him have a peaceful death, not a <laughs> painful <laughs> suffering one, whatever. I don't know. Mercy killing. Yeah, you drop mercy. the hammer between the neck and the base of the skull, severing his spine. You watch him wince, his body twitch. Two, three, four spasms. And then he lays silent. I don't sit and watch it. I walk away. You hear his body twitch. <laughs> Two, three, four times. <laughs> All right. So, what are you guys doing now? 